This is dynamic and adaptive music. Could you tell? Hey everybody and welcome to another video. Today we're talking about the use of dynamic and adaptive music in Sonic Frontiers. Or lack thereof. For those that don't know, adaptive music or adaptive and interactive music is background music that changes in volume, rhythm, or melody based on the specific actions or events taking place in a game world. What this means is that based on what the player does in game, the music adapts to the change in scenario. Dynamic music is something that could easily be used for immersing a player in a game. It's definitely not a requirement, but it's something that can add to the whole experience. Because of dynamic music, various actions can be emphasized, and the player's ability to consistently be good at mastering the mechanics of the game is made clearer through an auditory change in the music. It could also be used for things like enemy encounters. A slight change to the music that emphasizes the danger of the enemies in front of you can add weight to encounters while making them appear more threatening. It makes it all the more satisfying when they get defeated. Little things like this can go a long way in enhancing the experience of a game. But what does this have to do with Sonic Frontiers? To answer that question, I'm going to need to add a bit of context. So when it comes to dynamic music, it's important to note what kind of setting is appropriate for this kind of tool. Technically speaking, it can fit into any kind of game, it's just a matter of how it's implemented. Could it be used for a change in location? Enemy encounters? Player action or movement? Or a combination of everything? Well, the easy answer is everything. All of these elements of dynamic music can be used in any kind of game, especially in games with open worlds and ambient soundtracks. Sound familiar? That's right. I'm talking about Breath of the Wild. This game perfectly harnesses dynamic music and balances it so that it feels natural, to the point where the game doesn't feel complete without it. Enemy encounters have their own themes based on how dangerous they are, the music adapts based on changes in the landscape, terrain, and weather, and sounds adapt to whatever the player does. The same could be said about Nier Automata with its deserted setting and landscape, Genshin Impact with its natural environments and lively open world, Da Blob with its colorful atmosphere and funky music, Jack 2 with its dark and edgy tone, and for the sake of this video, Sonic Unleashed. As silly as the Werehog concept is, these stages actually did a decent job with being a pacebreaker for the daytime Sonic boost stages. While Day Sonic was fast and energetic with its music and tone, the Werehog contrasts with it and provides night stages that have a more smooth and jazzy feel to them. Like going out on a night stroll, the Werehog adapts to this new environmental shift, even going as far as implementing a battle theme that This is a prime example of using dynamic music where it's not appropriate. Could you tell? While it's appropriate in the scenario it plays in, that's not the case with how it's implemented. It's too loud and bombastic, and with this many enemy encounters, it's easy to get annoyed by both the song and the gameplay style. This is why it's important to understand how this music tool synergizes with gameplay. When applied to a game, you need to consider how much you want the dynamic music to be present. You want to strike a balance between the music and gameplay to really make the player feel like they're making an impact. And I bring attention to this information to showcase the potential use of dynamic music in Sonic Frontiers. With Frontiers being an open world game with ambient music, it's reasonable to consider the implementation of dynamic music. Players would be encouraged to run at higher speeds to continue listening to an altered version of the level's bass music, get skilled at the game's combat mechanics to keep the adrenaline pumping, and motivate them to explore the game's world. This is one of the biggest potential draws of dynamic music in open worlds for me. As I said before, dynamic music helps to add polish and immersion to a game. With its presence in an open world, or in this case, an open zone, it creates a convincing illusion of a world that is worth exploring. Which is what you want in an open world game, especially with a world as vast as the one we've seen so far in Frontiers. Running around with music that adapts to your speed can push people forward and encourage them to keep moving all the while making them feel something while they explore, whether that be excitement, relaxation, or just plain fun. 
Music like this can help to strike a balance between the fast-paced and slower moments that Sonic can have, which is why I brought up Sonic Unleashed, because although it does strike this balance with its shift in gameplay style, it feels a little clunky and unnatural in its execution. It's definitely something that would take time to get used to. But in an open world, a better balance in tone and atmosphere can be achieved because of how natural the shift could occur. One moment a player could be admiring the scenery, and the next they could be running in a hamster wheel. All I need to do to prove my point is show you a proof of concept of how dynamic music could greatly affect Sonic Frontiers. This video is brought to you by a user that goes by the name Sonic Guitars. Please enjoy. Overall, I'd say I'm pretty pleased with what's being shown off for this game. As of now, we've been able to get more information regarding the combat, exploration, music, and control of this game. And honestly, in my eyes, there's a lot of hope for this game. I feel like it'll be a great Sonic title and something that'll lead to a better future for the franchise. Or, you know, it could totally flop. Whatever the case may be, I'm sure this will be a memorable game in the franchise, and I really hope that it ends up being good. Anyway. That's about all I've got. Bye-bye.